The first people on Mars will owe a debt to an elite group of researchers at Langley's think tank full of dreamers called the Systems Analysis Concept Directorate. SACD is the people who help shape the future of what NASA will eventually do. Chris Jones, Space Missions Analyst. One of the big projects that a lot of us in the Space Mission Analysis branch or SMAB work on is the Evolvable Mars campaign that's understanding what the path is from where we are right now through the development of the Space Launch System and Orion, through the design of the more advanced systems needed to do, for example, the Asteroid Robotic Redirect mission, on the way to eventually going to and exploring Mars with humans and indeed building towards a future of pioneering Mars. There are challenges coming to us over the next 50 to 100 years that we need to start looking at now. If we want to work and live on Mars, there's much to be accomplished. If we want aviation to look different in the future and solve our emissions, our noise problems, there's much to be accomplished there, and we participate in all of that. All of that includes a reusable Mars lander for crew and payload, and Director Vicki Crisp knows how much future space missions depend on working business models here on Earth. We are in place in order to solve the problems of aeronautics, exploration, and science. We inform decision makers at headquarters about the challenges ahead. We're looking at concepts called personal air vehicles. It's kind of been a dream for a long time that you can go out into your driveway instead of getting in your car and getting on you know, the, the interstate sitting in a big traffic jam. Wouldn't it be cool if you could get in your personal air vehicle and take off? The facilities that we have at Langley help us understand how to get our design from paper to flight. I get to work on building the future of humanity every single day, and I love it. SAC-D has branches in aeronautics, vehicles, and space. For Science Matters, I'm Charles Fishburne, WCVE News.